this man right here, rest in peace, George Floyd. This was really just the tip of the iceberg and we're fed up, so we're standing up for our rights and we're gonna fight. A second Sunday protest denouncing systemic racism and police brutality here in downtown Montreal. Thousands marching in the downtown core to unify the population. We're fighting against just racism in general. We're also just fighting against police brutality. You know, so it's to show our, our unity, but also just to, to be able to mobilize and to show that we're not alone in this uh, in this fight. I can't breathe, George Floyd. Why can't these men breathe? Because the police keep putting their knees in our necks. The peaceful protest started as a rally at Place Emilie Gamelin. Then tens of thousands flooded the streets to have their voices heard. No it's now 12, 12 years that I can't breathe due to racism, discrimination and harassment. I'm here to give a new message to the politician, to the member of the public, that they need to react when the discrimination, harassment and racism is going on. I suffered two strokes 10 years ago and the hospital I went to I thought I was drunk and not worth doing any kind of test because I'm young and I'm black. Our lives matter as much as all lives matter, you know? But since black lives are really in danger now, we can't be just staying here and not doing a lot for that. Black lives matter! On Friday, Montreal Police Chief Sylvain Caron asked to be invited to the march and organizers had accepted. But on Saturday, that changed. When the community itself uh, responded and said they weren't ready for it yet, we said, OK, we, we withdrew the invitation. We did let them know that they're still welcome to be present here today, but, the, but we didn't want to put, make them the focus of today. Personally, I don't feel safe and I don't feel like it's their place to be here. I want us to remember that this is just the beginning. It's important for our allies and for allies to come out here and use our privilege to give those without one a voice. It's essential to sing race. If we want to dismantle all the white supremacy and all the violence, we have to see race and address it. It's time that as a people we just start coming together. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.